Hello, Storytime friends and families. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Today, I am going to share with you a story about Elizabeth Cotton. She was a black woman who wrote songs from as early as age 11. How cool is that? She has influenced many famous musicians and artists uh, for many, many years. Her most famous recognized song is about a train. So we'll also do a song and a finger play about trains. And she played the guitar. So we're also going to do a song about playing a guitar. So my name is Miss Jenna from the Triple Falls Public Library and I'm so glad you're joining in. We're going to do our hello song. It's to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It. If this is your first time tuning in to our online story time, you'll catch on very quickly. So first, we're going to nod our head, yes. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story and you really want to show it, if you're ready for a story, nod your head. Now let's clap our hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story and you really want to show it, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. Now let's stomp our feet right down there. You can stomp lightly like me, or you can stomp as hard as you can. <laughs> If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story and you really want to show it, if you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. Let's now smile really big. If you're ready for a story, smile big. If you're ready for a story, smile big. If you're ready for a story and you really want to show it, if you're ready for a story, smile big. How about we reach up high next time, as high as you can, stand on those tippy toes even. If you're ready for a story, reach up high. If you're ready for a story, reach up high. If you're ready for a story and you really want to show it, if you're ready for a story, reach up high. Now let's reach down low, as low as you can go without hurting yourself. If you're ready for a story, reach down low. If you're ready for a story, reach down low. If you're ready for a story and you really want to show it, if you're ready for a story, reach down low. Let's do two more. This time, I want you to wiggle. We're gonna get some of those wiggles out. If you're ready for a story, wiggle your body. If you're ready for a story, wiggle your body. If you're ready for a story and you really wanna show it, if you're ready for a story, wiggle your body. All right, our last one, and then we're going to hear our story. So we better get our bodies quiet and still. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story and you really want to show it, if you're ready for a story, sit so still. Our story today is about this little girl who grows up to influence many famous musicians. And her name is Libba, L-I-B-B-A. Miss Jenna's name ends in an A-T. Do you have an L in your name? What about the letter I? Do you have an I in your name? Miss Jenna doesn't. What about a B? Libba has one two B's in her name. What about you? Do you have the letter B in your name? And the letter A? 
Do you have the letter A in your name? Libba, the magnificent musical life of Elizabeth Cotton. And this is by Laura Veers and illustrated by Tatiana Fuzlalazada. And look at, we can see some train tracks on our cover. That's going to be a little clue about a song that Libba wrote. And there's Libba holding a guitar. There she is again. That is a guitar. We'll sing a song about a guitar in a few minutes. I want to thank Chronicle Books for allowing me to share this story called Libba. Libba Cotton heard music everywhere. Look, she's got her eyes closed. She's listening very carefully. She heard it in the river when she brought in water for her mother. She heard it in the axe when she chopped wood for kindling. She heard music in the freight trains moving down the tracks near her home. And there's her home. She even heard it when she wasn't allowed to. When her brother Claude was at work, Libba snuck into his bedroom and borrowed his guitar. Dang, she whispered. Claude was right-handed. Libba was not. So she must have been left-handed. She turned the guitar upside down and played it backwards. It was kind of like brushing your teeth with your foot or tying a shoe with one hand. Nobody else played that way, but it was the way that felt right to Libba. Like a train plays rhythm on the tracks, Libba made the notes go up and down. Like water bu bubbles in a brook, Libba sang a little song. Like a girl doing what she was born to do, Libba played the guitar upside down and backwards. One time she broke a string, another time she scratched the wood. Each time she put the guitar back. Dang, Claude said, she's done it again. But then Libba played him a song upside down and backwards. She played a funny way, but she sure was good. Soon Claude moved out to get a job, taking his guitar with him. So that must be Claude. You can see a suitcase is packed. And they're sitting on their front stoop. What is Libba going to do without a guitar to play? But Libba never stopped in her tracks. She kept right rolling. Now what can a little girl like you do? I can sweep the floors. I can pick the vegetables. I can set the table. She earned 75 cents a month. Pretty soon she had saved up $3.75, just enough for a Stella guitar. Oh, she's doing chores and working and saving up for something big like a guitar. That's so smart of her. All day and night, she played that guitar. Long after everyone had gone to sleep, her mother would shout, babe, I gotta go to work in the morning. How about a lullaby? So Libba put her mother to sleep, playing upside down and backwards. Libba is teaching herself how to play the guitar. And remember, she's left-handed. So she has to play the guitar upside down and backwards. And here we see the same picture as our cover, don't we? With those railroad tracks. Libba played and played. And before you could say, dang, she'd written her first song. She wasn't even 13 yet. Freight train, freight train, run so fast. Freight train, freight train, run so fast. Please don't tell what train I'm on. They won't know what route I've gone. But even trains get derailed. Time swept Libba up. 
and she stopped playing guitar. So we see, Libba became a mom. Now she's riding the bus, and she grew up in a time when black people had to sit in a separate section than white people. So that sign says colored. So she is forced to sit back there. Now look, that is a different looking house. So she must have moved out of her mother's house too. Now she was a tall and stately grandmother working in a department store. One day she found a little girl lost in the store. She returned the girl to her mother, Ruth Crawford Seeger, a composer in a famous musical family. Ruth could tell that Libba was kind and gentle, and Libba felt the same way about Ruth. There's that little girl. As the Seeger's new housekeeper, Libba moved like a galleon, taking care of the family. She made eight-inch chocolate cakes with six layers each. She loved the spirited children, but most of all, she loved how the home was filled with music. Like we can see, there's someone playing the banjo and a piano and a guitar. You could hear banjos in the bedrooms, pianos in the parlor, and bass drums in the basement. The children awoke in the morning to bluesmen and drifters sleeping by a smoldering fire. The musicians had funny names like Lead Belly, Woody Guthrie, and Muddy Water. After story time, you can ask your adult to look up music by Lead Belly, Woody Guthrie, and Muddy Waters. As Libba worked, she listened. This picture reminds me of the picture at the very beginning when she was listening. Look, it's the same serene and happy face, isn't it? But she's much older now, isn't she? One day the kids on the porch and the bluesmen in the living room and the drummers down below heard a sound. It was like a thousand songbirds singing, or a gentle spring rain, or a train rumbling down the track. Oh, what is Libba doing again? She's playing the guitar. It was Libba singing and picking that guitar like she'd never set it down. Dang, cried the kids. She can play, cried the bluesman. Soon the whole house was turned upside down and backwards. The children were clearing the dishes and washing up. The bluesmen were singing Libba's songs. Ruth was playing along. Everyone wanted to hear Libba's music. Sing freight train again, they shouted. Look, they're all gathered around Libba. Look at their happy and listening faces. The Seegers believed in Libba and helped spread the word about her music. But it was Libba's perseverance, her love of music, and her belief in herself that gave the world her voice. Libba played grand cathedrals in London and velvet theaters in Rome. Thousands of people sang along when she played Freight Train. And now millions of people know her music. Look at she's all alone on that stage. I don't know about you, but I would be very nervous alone on stage like that. She must be very brave and really love music. All those people in the audience. Libba turned her guitar upside down and backwards so she could play it her own way. She turned the music world upside down and backwards, too. Libba Cotton never stopped in her track. She kept rolling. Freight train, freight train, run so fast. Freight train, freight train, run so fast. Please don't tell what train I'm on. They won't know 
which route I found. The end. I encourage you to check this book out because there is an author's note that tells even more details about Elizabeth Cotton's life and all the other musicians that she influenced. Inspired by our story about Libba, we're going to do a finger play about a train. So I want you to hold your arm out and cross it over your body. If you have really little ones, you can do this uh, finger play on your child's body if it's okay with them. Ask first. If they don't like it, you can stop and try another time. So here's our train. And our train is going to go up the track and down the track. Are you ready? We'll do it a couple times so you learn it. This little train ran up the track. And then it came to tooting back. Toot, toot, toot. Let's use our other arm. Hold your other arm up and cross it over your body. Now let's do this train. And instead of toot, tooting, we're going to really high. Let's toot, toot with low voices. Can you do that with me? Toot, toot. <laughs> Here we go. This little train ran up the track, toot, toot, toot. And then it came to tooting back, toot, toot, toot. Now this time, our last time, can you hold your arm straight out? Yeah. Let's start with the train way down at our fingertips. This time, I want you to toot, toot as high as you can with your voice. This little train ran up the track, toot, toot, toot. And then it came to tooting back, toot, toot, toot. Our next song is adapted from a song by Happy Sunshine Friends, so thanks to them. So we're going to get our guitars out, our pretend guitars. We're going to play our guitars in front of our bodies. Can you join me? We're going to play our guitars all over the place, in the garden, with our friends, and more. So we're going to strum our guitars and sing along with me. So we're going to strum right in front of our bodies. And this hand holds the neck of the guitar. And you can move your fingers up and down. So this song repeats often, which is great for learning new words. And you'll catch on really quickly. In this song, I'm going to sing this kid. But you go ahead and sing your own name or your child's name. I'm going to use the pronoun they. And you feel free to sing your own pronoun or your child's pronoun. Are you ready? Let's get those guitars out. This kid likes to play a guitar, 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 guitar. They play their guitar in the garden, 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 garden. They play their guitar in the store, 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 store. They play their guitar on the stage, 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 stage. They play their guitar with their friends. Friends, friends, friends. All right, for this next verse, let's try switching. Remember how Libba switched the guitar because she was left-handed? Well, we're going to try switching to the other side and see how that feels. Are you ready? Go ahead and sway and dance with me, too. This kid likes to play a guitar, 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 guitar. They play their guitar in the jungle, 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 jungle. They play their guitar in a boat, 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 boat. They play their guitar in a car. I hope somebody else is driving. Car, car, car. 
They play their guitar with their friends. Friends, friends, friends. Did you see how I repeated the last word of the sentence three times? Did you catch on to that? Let's sing that first verse again and you can repeat the words with me. This kid likes to play a guitar. Guitar, guitar, guitar. They play their guitar in the garden. Garden, garden, garden. They play their guitar in the store. Store, store, store. They play their guitar on the stage. Stage, stage, stage. They play their guitar with their friends. Friends, friends, friends. You can keep singing the song at home and you can choose where you're going to play your guitar. Maybe you'll play it in the shower or at school. Where else could you play your pretend guitar in the song? <laughs> Our last little song of the day is all about trains and we're going to start off with the engine. What color is this train? Black, yes. I need your help during this song. Can you blow your whistle? Toot, 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 toot. Do that with me. Toot, 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 toot. And we're gonna hear the whistle blow. And we're gonna chug, 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 chug. <laughs> you can stand up and chug around the room if you want. You can walk and pretend you're a train. <laughs> okay, begin with the black engine. This little train painted black. It comes chugging down the track with a toot, 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 toot. Hear the whistle blow. This little train goes chugging home. Let's see what color is the next. Blue. This car is blue. We'll put it right behind the black engine. This little car painted blue. It has seats for me and you. With a choo, choo, toot, toot, hear the whistle blow. This little train goes chugging home. Let's see, we have one, two, now three. What color is this car? Yellow. This little car painted yellow. It shimmies and shakes like a bowl of jello. With a toot, 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 hear the whistle blow. This little train goes chugging home. Let's count how many we have. One, two, three, and four. What color is the fourth car of our train? Green. This little car painted green. It's the fanciest car you've seen. With a toot, 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 hear the whistle blow. This little train goes chugging home. We have one last car. One, two, three, four, five. What color is our last little car? Red. We'll put it way at the end. You can kind of see it, can't you? <laughs> this little car, it is red. It will take you home to bed. With a choo choo toot toot, hear the whistle blow. This little train goes chugging home. Thank you so much for joining me at Storytime Online. I hope that you are enjoying all of our story times. Stay tuned for more story times Thursday, Fridays and Tuesdays until the beginning of December. Have a wonderful rest of your day. You're so great. Give yourself a big hug. Bye.